The finalists for the Healthcare or Wellness Organization of the Year are... I've lived in Sarasota since 1981, so this has been my home for most of my adult life. I started my acupuncture practice in 1998, but I've lived here since 1981 doing various other things. Well, we've created a program that's very, it's quite different. Most of my practice is weight loss, probably about 85%. Um, but we've created a program based on the principles of integrative medicine, including acupuncture, homeopathy, nutrition, um, and behavior modification, which is key in weight loss. If you don't modify your behavior, you gain every ounce back. We've formed an alliance with the All Face Food Bank, where we are donating 25 cents a pound for every pound that our patients lose to their fresh produce program. Um, fresh produce is key in good health and we're really excited to be sharing that with the community. One of the reasons I became an audiologist is because my mother had a hearing loss. and I always felt like she suffered in situations where there was background noise and crowds. I felt like she didn't get to participate. So I was always interested in what I might be able to do to help somebody to hear better. I wanted to be able to help more patients and reach or people to help them with their hearing, so I decided to start my own office, and I've never looked back, it's been fantastic. So one of the things we're really proud about this year is that we started Hear Care Connection. It's a nonprofit to help low-income families and individuals who can't afford hearing devices. So we have a circle of giving, and we have individuals that come in that we can provide hearing devices, and then they give some community service back as part of their payment. Our job as audiologists is to help everyone that we can. And so this is a great way for us to expand uh, into our communities in Sarasota area to help those individuals. It's very engaging and it's emotional and we're happy that we can help. I moved to Sarasota with a good friend of mine and got into athletics as I was at home, uh, in particular cycling and actually was on, on my bike when I had a crash and I passed out from a seizure. And first and foremost, uh, doctors are, why is a 33-year-old man having a seizure? The tumor they, had, they found in my head was uh, the lemon, a lemon size. And literally, I formed a group of friends, business partners, just associates in the community to find the best place to go. Well, our mission is matching cancer survivors with cancer fighters to walk them through the process. I know when I was diagnosed, I was 33 years old, and it would have been nice to have someone there who had gone through what I was about to. And that's what we do. We match cancer survivors with a cancer fighter of like diagnosis and age, and as many likes as we can, you know, so they're a good pairing. And 99% of the time, our survivors and fighters actually become very close friends.